Hi, my name's Emma. I'm part of the My Place team. I'm a keen gardener and today I'm going to show you my four top tips to garden for fruit and veg that is nature friendly. Top tip number one is choose really carefully the fruit and veg that you're going to grow in your garden. So in my garden I've got a lot of curly kale. Curly kale is great to eat, you can eat the leaves and these shoots are a bit like asparagus and what's also great is this time of year if you leave it it will go into flower and produce lovely yellow flowers that are fantastic for bees and pollinators so I'm growing something that's tasty for me but also helps the bees and the pollinators top tip number two is don't keep your garden too tidy so here is an apple tree that's been growing for a few years in my garden. Um, it's just coming into blossom and we'll have lovely tasty apples in the autumn. Um, what's been happening over the last year or so is this ivy has been growing up it. So I'm going to leave this ivy because it's fantastic for invertebrates and mini beasts to take shelter. So tasty apples for me and a nice place to live for insects. My top tip number three is don't use pesticides or slug pellets. Slug pellets are particularly bad for birds if they've eaten slugs that have digested the, the slug pellets. So I don't use any sort of poisons or pesticides in my garden. So instead, uh, I've got some baby beans growing here. And what I've been doing is using dry moss to make a barrier to stop the slugs or at least deter the slugs from getting to my beans and munching my tasty morsels. And my final top tip number four is to work with nature. So I've got some rhubarb growing here and what I've done is I've created a little pond that's underneath the rhubarb leaves. It's just an old bucket that we've stuck in the ground. We've let the rainwater fill it up um, and then hopefully some frogs and some toads will move into this mini pond and it'll be a whole new little mini ecosystem. And of course, frogs are great at catching and eating slugs. So frogs are always a gardener's best friend. So by building a little mini pond like this, it's helping me to stay on top of my slugs and stop them from nibbling all my little seedlings in the garden. So good for frogs and good for gardeners. Thanks for joining me in my garden this afternoon. Happy gardening.